My name's Amy Barrett Daffin, and I'm the publisher at CNT Publishing. And today I want to talk to you about a new book, Love Fat Quarter Quilts. And can I just tell you, I do love Fat Quarter Quilts. This is a wonderful book. It's got like over 16 projects. Uh, the projects are from really easy to a little more complicated. But I wanted to show you one today that I did. Um, and for me, it was complicated because I've never done piecing with such small pieces. So what I did was I did a pattern called Pixel Pop and there was a full size quilt of Pixel Pop, but I decided to do the mini quilt. And what I did was I made a little mini baby quilt that has ribbon on it. And we all know how much babies love to run things through their fingers. So what I tried to do was put on some different kinds of ribbons, different lengths, different thicknesses. And then some of the ribbons I did were the grow grains, so they were a little rougher. And then I even put a little cotton one here on the corner, just as something different, but definitely something for baby to play with. So why was this quilt complicated for me? Because these are all one and a half inch pieces to start and they sew down to one inch. And as you can see looking at this, not, not all my seams line up perfectly, but for me being the first time I've done one and a half inch piecing, I was pretty happy with it. I was happy with how it turned out. So I'm just gonna show you um, a little bit of cutting and, um, and then that'll be it. So this is from Love Fat Quarter Quilts and these are some of the fabrics that I used and I'm going to use Alex Anderson's method of how she holds her fabric and cuts. Let's see, I don't think my rotary cutter is that sharp. And now I've got my one and a half inch strips and then we had to make one and a half inch squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at this end and I'm just gonna cut off. I'm gonna line that up, there we go. I'm just gonna cut off this little piece right there. So I'm gonna cut some one and a half inch pieces and I'm just gonna line up my ruler and cut. And because I'm not setting my rotary cutter down, I am not closing it. If I were setting it down, I would secure the blade cover and I'd move it. I don't always remember to do that, but I've been getting better at remembering to do it. So I've got my one inch squares there, and then I'm just gonna cut a one and a half inch strip. First I'm gonna square up, just make sure I have a nice straight edge. I'm gonna pull away the safety Get rid of my little scrap. Go to my one and a half inch. Set it over here. Cut off a little piece just to make sure I have both ends. And when you're sewing these little pieces, I would Definitely recommend chain piecing, and I would also strongly recommend using the starties and stoppies so that you have a bigger piece of fabric at the beginning of your chain and a big piece of fabric at the end so that these little pieces really stay together because when you're sewing with something this small, you really have to make sure that um, the seams really are tight all the way at the end. So you want to make and you also want to make sure that your quarter inch seam allowance is definitely a scant quarter inch because if it's not then what's going to happen is your blocks are going to end up being too small and you can really see it in the quilt if that happens. So this is what it turns out to be and I probably got this done in about from cutting to finishing quilting and binding. And I also did, um, I did like a pillow binding on this because I had to put in the ribbons. If I'd done a regular binding, it wouldn't have worked. So I did more like a pillowcase binding where I, I sewed it together inside out and then I flipped it around and I had pinned all these on the inside. And then you can see, I just, you know, did a little quick stitch finish to finish it up. So this is from Love Fat Quarter Quilts. And while we're here, I just wanted to show you, 
I have a book that I have made more quilts out of than any other CNT book. And I just wanted to give it a quick plug. I think it's available as an ebook from us. And that is Bright and Bold Cozy Modern Quilts. And this book is one of my favorites. And the quilt behind me, which is a baby quilt, and use the same fabric as my little baby play mini quilt um, is I made this kaleidoscope wall quilt and one thing that I did differently is I wanted to change the dimension a little bit and so instead of going with the one and a half inch here I went with the two and a half inch strip so that I could make it um, a little bit longer um, but I wanna give a shout out to Tula Pink. I definitely took advantage of Tula's fabrics. Um, but this is one of my favorite books of all times. I've probably made, I haven't made every quilt in the book, but I've made probably six or seven, which is more than any other book I've ever made. So that's Bright and Bold Cozy Modern Quilts. The last thing I wanna show you is I love making baby quilts, but I also love baby books. And I have a favorite baby book of all time, and I think my older son Jesse would tell you this is for sure my favorite book of all time, and it's called Love You Forever. If you haven't seen it, I think when you're giving someone a baby quilt, it's a great add-on gift. So um, just a plug for my favorite baby book. And remember, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments, and I will answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.